So a lot of sports stuff has been going on and I wanted to make a video doing more of a long form talk about some of the sports news going on. First off, let's begin. Today is July 20th, 2021. Game six of the NBA Finals is tonight, six o'clock Pacific, nine o'clock Eastern. And it's the Bucks versus the Suns. Been a good series so far. Suns went up 2-0, have dropped the last three games. So game six is big for both teams. The Bucks can close it. The Suns can get back into it, force a game seven, go back to Phoenix. But it was announced today that Scott Foster was going to be an official in today's game. And if you don't know what that means, let me tell you. Uh, Scott Foster has refed in 12 of Chris Paul's postseason games. Chris Paul has not won a single game. Chris Paul's 0 for 12 with Scott Foster officiating. So it's a wrap. Milwaukee's going to win the series in six. They're going to win it in Milwaukee because there's no chance that he can overcome Scott Foster. It's one thing to try to beat Giannis, and it's another to try to beat the refs in the NBA. But maybe Adam Silver wants Scott Foster to force a game seven, in which case it's going to be a wild ride to see which way Scott Foster leans and which way this series is going to end. Next, we got Rafael Varane. This is a sad time. Rafael Varane's definitely leaving Madrid. He's going to Manchester United. Everyone knows this. It, it, it hurts as a Real Madrid fan because we have no defense anymore outside of Nacho. And we lost Sergio Ramos earlier this year. PSG got him on a two-year deal. It, it just sucks because Florentino Perez is just a terrible person who has no soul. He just takes away every one of the... The legendary players we had at Madrid didn't care with Raul, didn't care with Casillas, didn't care with Ronaldo or Ramos. Ah, uh, now we're gonna lose Veron, and uh, it's gonna hurt. We're not gonna be a very good team next year defensively. We also got Aaron Rodgers signed a one-year deal, coming back for one more year for the Green Bay Packers. They offered him a two-year deal. He said no, so it seems like this is he's giving them one last chance out of just good faith. Hey. I'm going to give you guys one last run. We're going to go and do this. But if y'all don't do something big, don't get me a first round pick receiver. I'm gone is what Aaron Rodgers is probably thinking. Aaron Rodgers needs talent. There isn't much talent surrounding him outside of the running back Aaron Jones, as well as Devontae Adams, who is arguably one of the best receivers in, in football. Wow, I was going to say basketball. In football, but that's not enough. Everyone else seems like a sixth round pick or undrafted. Aaron Rodgers needs something, y'all. Aaron Rodgers can't throw the ball to himself or Devontae Adams every play, although he does try to throw it to Devontae Adams every play. We also got Nationals Park. Uh, there was a shooting on Saturday right outside the park. Uh, it doesn't sound like anyone got hurt. It sounds like everyone's safe. Uh, the police were able to rally to the situation. That is a real unfortunate thing to see considering how sports are moving back to having full capacity crowds it does hurt to see the fact that a uh, such a tragedy could have occurred it doesn't make sense i don't understand why someone would do that um the padres as well as national players got people into their dugouts to shield them or protect them as best as possible so good job on both teams the game was uh suspended they decided not to continue the game until tomorrow, which rightfully so. I mean, why would you why would you want to risk anything, you know? So a scary thing. You can even hear some gunshots on the broadcast. Yeah, I'm glad no one got hurt. That that could have been a really bad situation. And lastly, we got the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. Um, I was gonna put one where I scratched out the zero, put a one. It's been wild trying to get this going. Uh there's COVID rates in the olympic teams has been skyrocketing it has not been going well there's been a lot of denials of requests for athletes for example um i don't remember her name but i believe she was a swimmer she is uh a paralympian so she's blind and deaf and she was denied the request to have her mother be her personal uh aid or yeah it's personal aid and that is wild that they denied that it was the u.s olympic committee that denied it but come on y'all like how the how does that make sense how does that make sense and then there's just it's been a lot it's been a lot those cardboard beds seem like they're a thing that's pretty funny um i don't know i just saw something earlier today saying that 
they could deny the Olympics at any given time um, or to shut it down, which is also wild. But it seems like we're moving more and more to that as more athletes and more people are becoming are be, being affected by COVID and it just seems like they can't get it under control. It is what it is. I don't see the Olympics happening. Ah, uh, yeah, it, it's rough. If it wasn't for COVID, I would have gone because I've always wanted to go to Tokyo. I've always wanted to go to Japan, but national tra a uh, worldwide global tragedy happened that prevented our lives from continuing. But we're moving away from that. We're moving towards the future. I am excited. I hope you guys are. Tell me if you guys enjoy the video in this manner. Of course, I'm still going to continue my videos as normal. But just every once in a while doing like a, a sports uh, overall view of sports video.